What's good family? So mash the like button, subscribe and lick off the bell. We've got some breaking news right now as it pertains to your man's Jovonta Tank Davis. Check this. Tank and Rolly Romero is booked in for Showtime pay-per-view on December 5th at the Staples Center. <laughs> this is a <laughs> this is crazy. Now, I've been slagging off Tank for not handling the work he's supposed to handle. We've talked about names like Devin, Tio, Ryan, a whole bag of names. Do you know whose name we never mentioned? Rolly Romero. And to add insult to injury, not only are they giving us this fight, but can you believe the audacity? It's on pay-per-view as well. Wow. This is how bad the boxing fans are down right now. We down all the way bad. Shocking. Absolute in what world is this a pay-per-view fight? Then again, I'm not sure. Were Tanks other fights on pay-per-view? Because if they, if they were, it makes sense. If Tanks, now, I'm not, I don't even keep, to be honest with you, I don't even keep up with it. Why? It's so messy and so uninteresting. I couldn't tell you if Tanks fights a pay-per-view or not. Probably, they probably are, to be fair, which makes sense why this one's pay-per-view. But either way, what I'm going with this is, none of them should be pay-per-view. Least of all this. Yeah, told you before. Devin Haney, Tio, all them fights, pay per view, Loma, pay per view. This guy, Rolly, don't get me wrong. This fight should have been Devin Haney's. And that, this, again, it all links in. It's all connected in boxing. This shows how messed up the sport is. Because Devin, he been talking the most. Talk, 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 talk. And guess what? Tank, who in my opinion is much more developed than Devin. Tank's handling the work that Devin was supposed to handle. But guess what? Devin ain't never said no contracts. Devin's the only guy who talk about everyone ducking him. Don't say in contract to Rolly. Don't say in contract to um, Tio. Don't say in contract to Loma. Just stay talking. Just stay talking and moaning. That's what your man's Devin be doing. He ain't said no contracts. Facts. His dad Bill Haney was on there. Not on the interview talking about how, Oh no, we didn't send no contract. Well, what are you moaning about? People are... Let me tell you something now for all you fighters out there. You can only talk about people ducking you, yeah. And you and your team have sent a term sheet, have sent an offer. That's a duck. And it makes sense. For all these years, I've been saying. For all these years, your man of YB's been saying, why don't these fighters come out on social media and post pictures of emails showing, look, I sent this offer. He's scary. He ducking. We know why now. Because they ain't never sent no offers. That's why. Oops. For years I've been thinking, what the hell? all these fighters talk, keep talking about ducking. Everyone talk about ducking, but no one chose no receipts. Oops. Ducking has become a currency now. If that makes sense. Ducking is the currency. Oh yeah. Let's not actually make any effort to make the fight. Let's just talk about ducking. And try and get some fake brownie points. And try and scam and shield the fans. Because fighters have realised, well, never mind fighting the best. I'll just talk about who ducking me instead. And fight bums. Yeah, yeah, Tiafimo Lopez, instead of fighting Lomachenko, which is what the fans want, I'll fight a bum, and I'll talk about him ducking me. Or talk about a whole bunch of dons ducking me instead. That's what they do, 100%. They book bum fights. So wait there, wait there, Tio. How was Cambosus able to get an offer, but Loma and no one else could? Have you man ever wanted that? All these fighters talk about everyone ducking them, yeah, but yet... They always manage to book bum fights. I'll tell you how they always manage to bum, book bum fights. But can never book the ones that are the good ones. Because they never send no offers to the good ones. They send offers to bums. And the rest is I ducking me. But if they had a whole catalogue of offers they've sent. They'd be sending. You know what I mean? They'd be showing everyone. But they, none of them do that. And this again relates back to this fight here. Tank versus Rolly. This fight, the only got Don, yeah, Rolly should be fighting is Devin Haney. Rolly Romero's been getting off all over Devin Haney, saying, Devin, you're chinny. Devin, I want you bad. That fight should have been a fight that's on on the zone. Not pay per view, though. Although that, that pay per view would have made much more sense against Devin Haney because of the background. This fight, I thought they were friends. Truthfully, I thought Tank and they was in the same gym and they're kind of friendly. 
I understand that Rolly Romero, I believe, is part of the Mayweather gang, or he was for a time. So obviously Mayweather's cashing in on a pay-per-view fight with both his fighters on there. But this isn't a pay-per-view. This sums up the, where the boxing is today. Tank Davis versus Rolly Romero on pay-per-view. What has what's become of the world? Seriously. What has become of the world? Of all the fights Tank could have fought, he fighting this Don. Never heard of him as such. Who's he beat? What's he been doing? Apart from talking. And this shows I'm confirmed. It's confirmed now for me. Floyd Mayweather, in my opinion, is literally trying to make a mockery of Tank Davis's career and his, and his legacy. Because, you know what? I mentioned legacy. Tank doesn't have a legacy today. In 2021, today, as it stands, if Tank was to retire, he has no legacy. And unfortunately, because he's from the hood and he's, in my opinion, quite small minded, he doesn't realise the gravity of what's happened in his, in his career. Yes, he's been, he's been thrown some loose change from Mayweather. Yes, Mayweather's given him 500 grand, 2 million. That's change. And Mayweather knows it. Mayweather's been making 100, 200 million. So he's laughing. He can't believe his luck that he's got a great fighter like Tank happy to make 1, 2 million. Which, when you're from the hood, it seems great. But really, Tank should be looking bigger. He should be thinking 100 million a pop. Instead, he's happy messing with random hoes and getting little change and living fight to fight. Fighting some, but think about it, Tank. Where, where does your legacy stand today? You're known as the man who ducked Loma. You're known as the man who ducked the dude that Tio filled in for you. Tio, a man four or five years younger than you, handled your light work for you. And instead, you're fighting Rolly Romero. I mean, at least, yeah, we can. Yes, I think Tio could do things better, but at least he went in there. At least he's in the conversation. Tank isn't even in the conversation with these guys, you know. He's fighting Raleigh Romero on pay-per-view. What is going on? This is disgraceful, honestly. Truly disgraceful. Tank versus one of the best prospects in the world today. I'd put Tank top five, pound for pound. Honestly, I would. Top five, pound for pound. And he doing this. Rolly Romero on pay-per-view. This is, honestly, yeah. Tank versus Rolly would be a bad filler fight. This would be an average, well, I've just fought Loma. I'm looking to fight Tiafimo. Ah, oh, I'll tell you what, we'll fight Rolly in the middle. You know what I'm saying? This wouldn't even be a great filler fight. And this is your main, this is this is Tank's main fight of the year. Tank fighting once every 18 months. Rolly Romero for Tank, yeah, is the kind of fight you take when, well, yeah, I've fought three times this year. I want to get a fourth in to stay busy. Or, you know what I mean? I've fought, I've fought already this year twice. Let me get another one in. This isn't once every 18 month show. If you're fighting once every year, yeah, guess what? You should be fighting the Lomas, the Tios, them ones. Every time. That's what Mayweather did. And in fact, Mayweather was 10 years older than you and he was fighting twice a year. And this is what I'm saying when I tell you, man, that T Floyd knows what he's doing. Floyd's ruining Tank's career on purpose. Because he knows he needs to stay active. But yet, Tank stay fighting once every 18 months. Floyd knows that you've got to put proper fights on. But yet, you're fighting Rolly Romero. Because even Floyd, he was fighting... He, he'd always fight world champions. Or belt holders. He'd always collect belts. He'd never just fight randomers with no name. Because, yeah, Rolly Romero's got a bit of a following, but that's he's known for trolling Devin Haney. That's it. He ain't got no following in his own right. He ain't got no belts, that's for sure. It's mad. What What's going on? And if, if it's not Floyd trying to ruin Tank's career, I don't know what is. People, I'm sorry. He's got no credibility with the fans. And again, apparently they sell quite a lot of tickets in Baltimore. But that, to me, she tells me that, imagine how big, again, in my opinion, Team Tank, they're thinking too small. They think, oh, well, we're selling tickets in Baltimore. Imagine what you'd be doing if you were fighting the Lomas and the Tios. And I'm sick of hearing this, oh, t don't forget, people. I remember back in 2015, six years ago, they were saying Tank's young. He don't need to rush. 
Now he's... How many more years are you going to be saying that? Your st tank, six years later, 30 years old, is still saying, oh, I'm young, I don't need... How many more years are you going to be young for? And fighting these... Like, not being funny. Tank versus Ronnie Romero would have been out of place five years ago, wouldn't it? Let's be real now. Five years ago, if Tank was fighting Ronnie Romero, it still would have felt a bit odd. But yet five years later, we're still at this level of fighting these random kind of American fighters. No world level dons. Shocking. Honestly, when I saw this, I thought, now nah, it must be an error or a joke or April Fool's. No, nah, they're serious. Wow, it's bad. And I'm not knocking Rolly. I think he's all right. Again, I was, I think I even advocated to watch that fight. I wanted to watch. Rolly Romero made some comments about Devin Haney. He said, listen, I sparred him and he got no chin. I'll go in there and walk him down and chin him. That fight, I didn't mind to watch on the zone. But Tank, there's levels to this game. Devin's an, a no power having ass. Yeah, got no power. Simple as that. He got, feather, he got feather fists. Not his fault, but it's what it is. Tank's the real deal. It's bad, man. I'm disappointed in the sport, but nothing changes there.